a vision of battlements. This novel was written, according to Burgess, in 1949. This is what Burgess states in the introduction, and it is his first novel. However, I don't think there's any dispute that a lot of work was done on the novel uh, in Atterbury uh, in the very early 50s. And if my understanding is correct, the novel was submitted uh, to the publisher in 1953, and it was, as we know, rejected. Burgess's description of deliberations of the publisher is instructive. He writes, Roland Gant told me that he had liked reading A Vision of Battles, and so had his assistant, the poet James Mitchie. It was, he said, funny. I had not, in fact, intended it to be funny, but I assumed the right posture of modesty on this revelation that I was a coming comic novelist. Unfortunately, Gant then said, it did not seem possible to publish the work as a first novel. It had too much of the quality of a second novel. Would I now go home and write a genuine first novel and submit it to Messrs. William Heinemann? Certainly, I said. <laughs> 